The objective for this video is to learn how to conduct a hypothesis test for a mean when the population standard deviation is unknown. In 1992, a study was done to determine whether 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit is an accurate mean body temperature for adults. The measures for a sample of 130 subjects, both male and female, are listed below. The sample mean body temperature was 98.25 degrees, and the sample standard deviation was 0.73 degrees. Test at a 0.05 level of significance the claim that the actual mean adult body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. When we conduct a hypothesis test for a mean when the population standard deviation is unknown, there are some assumptions that must be verified. One, the sample is a random sample, and two, either the sample size is greater than or equal to 30, or the population is normally distributed when the sample size is less than 30. Step one is to state the hypotheses and identify the claim. The claim is that the actual mean adult body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, so this will be a two-tailed test. Remember that the null hypothesis always contains the equal sign. So therefore, the claim in this case is in the null hypothesis. Since this is a two-tailed test, the alternative hypothesis will be that the mean is not equal to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Step two is to find the critical values. Since the population standard deviation is unknown, we will use the T distribution for our critical values. Note that the third line of the T distribution table should be used for two-tailed tests. We should travel across to the column that is headed 0.05 since this is the specified significance level for this problem. Remember that the number of degrees of freedom is one less than the sample size. Our sample size is 130, so the number of degrees of freedom would be 129. This t-table does not contain a row for 129 degrees of freedom. So we should go to the next smallest listed value, which would be 100. This row and the two-tail 0.05 column meet at the critical t value 1.984. So the critical values will be positive 1.984 and negative 1.984 when alpha is equal to 0.05 and we have 129 degrees of freedom. Step three is to compute the test value. We will use the formula x bar minus mu divided by the standard error of the sample means which is the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. Substituting these values into the formula results in a t-test value of negative 5.47. Step four is to make the decision to reject or not reject the null hypothesis. It is always a good idea to visualize the orientation of the critical values and the test value by placing them on a graph of the hypothesized distribution. We have a normally shaped sampling distribution with a hypothesized population mean of 98.6. If the test value lands between the critical values in a two-tailed test, we do not reject the null hypothesis. In this problem, we are to test at a 0.05 level of significance. So we split that value, also known as alpha, into the two tails. That would leave 95% of the sampling distribution between the critical values, and therefore it would be very unlikely that our randomly drawn sample would lead us to reject the null hypothesis if the population mean is indeed 98.6 but our calculated t-test value was minus 5.47. The interval between the critical values, negative 1.984 and positive 1.984, defines our region where we would not reject the null hypothesis. Since this is outside of that interval, our decision should be to reject the null hypothesis. Step five is to summarize the results. Since we decided to reject the null hypothesis, our conclusion is that there is enough evidence to reject the claim that the mean adult body temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. 
In this video, we learned how to conduct a hypothesis test for a mean when the population standard deviation is unknown. 